These are the orchestral sample libraries that I would buy for 2025 if I would start again from the beginning. It's Black Friday season right now and the best time of the year to get those virtual instruments with whom we write orchestral music and epic soundtracks. I'll give you my best picks for four budgets. Spoiler, there have been some serious changes compared to last year thanks to new releases and pricing changes. These are the sample libraries with the best sound quality, workflow, and overall value for money that give me great flexibility to write orchestral music in a wide range from classical to cinematic. And those of you who love themselves some more epic and hybrid orchestral tracks, I'll offer some great alternatives. The links to each libraries are down in the description. Remember, these are just my opinions. I'm not being paid to mention any of these. And there are many amazing other libraries that I couldn't include. One last important note before we start. Please be mindful when buying sample libraries. It's easy to get caught up in buying every new library that hits the market, thinking that this one library will make you compose better. Or if you don't buy it, then other composers will have an advantage over you. This can manifest itself as buying addiction and make you take bad financial decisions. Don't spend money you don't have. And don't forget, the best tools are the ones that you know inside out. Start small, learn your music gear well, and upgrade only when you hit a limitation. With that being said, let's go. We'll use sales prices for our calculations so you can get the most out of your budget. Seriously, buy sample libraries on sales if you can. And yes, I'll include a digital audio workstation in these setups as well, so you can start composing right away. 300 US dollar budget. We're on a super tight budget and we're gonna grab everything we can that's good and it's not a huge financial commitment yet. We need a DAW. We're gonna pick Reaper. Reaper is two months for free for evaluation purposes, which is enough time to let us check out all this composer stuff thoroughly. Then it's just 60 bucks for the perpetual non-commercial license. It's powerful, customizable, and affordable. And you can use all the sample libraries with it and plugins for full professional soundtracks in Reaper. It has a bit of a learning curve, but for this budget, it's perfect to start with. Perhaps later with time and budget, we can upgrade, but many composers also just stick with Reaper forever. We want to get as many instruments as possible to get a good feel for what it's like to write orchestral music. For that, we'll get a few low cost subscriptions with crazy value for money. We're gonna subscribe to the East West Composer Cloud Plus. It's a huge collection of all East West instruments for a monthly or yearly fee. It has orchestral instruments, world instruments, guitars, drums, piano, synths, and more. Composer Cloud Plus includes the Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition, which made an honorable mention in my video for the best all-in-one orchestral sample libraries. There are tons of other instruments there, and it's an incredible value for money. It's currently on Black Friday sale for 149 US dollars per year, or in general, it's like 20 bucks per month. Not all instruments are the newest, the shiniest, the best programmed ones. The download size can be kind of huge, but it's an absolute steal for what you get. And the Composer Cloud Plus is too good of a deal for a 300 US dollar budget to skip it. Next, we're going to add one year of Musio to our build. Yes, I would get two subscriptions because it's gotten a huge price drop. It's just 49 US dollars for a year. And it is the easiest way to get your hands on professional orchestral sample libraries for a minimum amount of money. Musio includes Cine samples, flagship libraries, Cine strings, Cine brass, Cine winds, and Cine perk, but also very useful additions like the Tina Guo cello libraries, vocals, and yeah, a lot. Together with the East West Composer Cloud, this can get us a long way. Seriously, for 49 US dollars for one year, it's a no brainer. Regular price, 99 US dollars per year or 149 for the perpetual license. It's a steal. Next, Contact Full. Contact is the industry standard sampler for orchestral and other sample libraries. It comes with Contact Factory Library 2. That one has tons of content, an improved orchestral collection made together with orchestral tools. It's not the best, but a good backup to fill any gaps that you may have. Contact also opens the world to smaller niche developers and freebies. It's pretty expensive standalone price, but you can use the cross grade with some eligible freebies, like for example, Heviosity's Emotive Choir. Then you can qualify for the cross grade, even though you use like a free library with it. And when that cross grade is on sale, you should be able to get it for a hundred bucks. In my opinion, Contact is a key investment for any composer and music producer. There's still space for one more purchase. If you watched last year's video, you're gonna know it. Majestic Horn Legato by Orchestral Tools. Majestic Horn Legato is a small but really good instrument. It's a pretty realistic sounding, well-programmed solo horn. It's currently on a Black Friday sale, one euro instead of the horrendous two euros. <laughs> Seriously, pick it up. Last but not least, get all the freebies you can. You have contact full, just 
check out my videos on the best orchestral sample libraries that come for free, especially Heaviosity Foundations, Fracture Sounds Blueprint Series, Performance Samples Freebies, Project Sam, the Free Orchestra, or Spitfire Labs. Watch the video and download all of them. Seriously, it's, it's a good value for money. Well, there's no money. So with 300 US dollars, we have a massive, broad collection of sample libraries with these two subscriptions for composing orchestral music and soundtracks. Having both East-West Composer Cloud and Museo in our toolkit, we can get a feel for the different workflows that these libraries have. Because they're from different developers, we can get a better feel for how this all works and we get a more experience. Also, we have more tools at hand to write awesome orchestral music before we decide if we want to spend hundreds or thousands on other orchestral sample libraries. Maybe we'll find out that this 300 US dollar bundle is all we need for our purposes. Hey, by the way, give this video a thumbs up, please. 500 US dollar budget. We'll walk a slightly different path now. Instead of going full wide in content with the subscriptions, we'll pick up one flagship all-in-one orchestra as the centerpiece of our composing toolkit that we'll learn inside out and really master to make amazing music with it. We'll then fill up any gaps with additional entry libraries. 500 US dollars is still a tight budget for orchestral music production. So dedicated section libraries for like strings and brass and woodwinds, they're still out of reach. But thanks to some very interesting releases in the recent past, we will nonetheless be well equipped to create orchestral music in our DAW to a pretty high level. We're staying with Reaper as our DAW of choice for its great affordability and strong feature set. Then our main purchase, Spitfire Symphony Orchestra. It's the most complete all-in-one orchestra right now, in my opinion. It's a repackage of Spitfire Audio's older flagship series, the Symphony series. So Spitfire Symphony Strings, Symphony Brass, Symphony Woodwinds, Symphony Percussion, the Harp and the Piano, I think. These are like fully fledged section size instruments. So you would have paid like close to 2000 US dollars or something in the past if you bought them individually. Now they're packed into one affordable all-in-one orchestra and it contains everything that we need. It has tons of instruments, insane number of playing techniques or articulations for both loud and soft dynamics, legados for all of the instruments, a really nice big tonal and atonal percussion section and four microphone positions to further control our orchestral sound. It's recorded in the gorgeous Air Lindhurst Hall, which gives it a big lush and cinematic tone. Check out my all-in-one orchestra comparison video. That will help you decide which orchestra library has the sound and content that fits your needs and budgets best. It often depends on the genre you want to write and where you want to set your focus. For general cinematic orchestral, in my opinion, Spitfire Symphony Orchestra is the best package right now and it'll be the centerpiece of our 500 US dollar build. Spitfire Symphony Orchestra does lack any choir and we'll fill the gap with either Cryo Essentials by Stress of Sampling or Audio Imperia Chorus Light. Both are great entry choir libraries. Choir Essentials has legato and it's organized into sopranos, altos, tenor, basses. I reviewed it up here and it sounds like this. <laughs> Chorus Light covers a lot of sustains and has a gorgeous tone. Either one will be great. We'll not forget to grab our freebies. We're missing out on a few freebies because the full version of Contact won't fit our budget with this selection, but the content depth of Spitfire Symphony Orchestra will make up plenty. Plus both Choir Essentials or Chorus Light run in the free Contact player, so we'll be fine for now. So this should cover everything orchestral for the first months, maybe even the first years of our composer journey. Here's an alternative for those of us who primarily want to write more epic, even modern hybrid orchestral music, who are looking for a more fat, processed sound and want to blend the orchestra with synths and th sound design to build huge and epic walls of sound. Synths and sound design. No kiss. Also, one of the best all-in-one orchestral sample libraries out there. Compare it to Spitfire Symphony Orchestra in my all-in-one orchestral video in the description. It's a great all-in-one package for aspiring composers who want a big, 
processed sound for epic cinematic music. Nucleus has a modern mix versus a classic mix with one button, which helps give it a little bit of versatility. The modern mix is gorgeous, direct in your face. Nucleus is pretty light on advanced articulations, especially compared to Spitfire Symphony Orchestra, but it's optimized for the audio imperia sound, modern and tight with a lot of oomph. Nucleus includes a choir, solo instruments with legato and also basic cinematic sound design. At 225 US dollars sales price right now, it's much more affordable than Spitfire Symphony Orchestra, which leaves us with a few options to add some libraries that will help us achieve that more epic orchestral sound. Nucleus's affordability leaves us with the budget to include Contact Full, and we're going to need it this time. Recently released, we're going to add Cinematic Tools Tommy Profit Percussion. It is a hard-hitting percussion library, perfect for epic orchestral, hybrid cinematic and trailer music. It's an important addition to ramp up Nucleus's rather traditional orchestral percussion section that really doesn't come as epic and impactful as the rest of the orchestral sections, I would say. And it's pretty affordable. I review Tommy Prophet percussion up here. Next, we're going to add Keep Forest Evolution Devastator. <laughs> It's one of the standard sample libraries for powerful cinematic sound design and trailer effects. There are multiple Devastator releases. The original one, Evolution Devastator, got very affordable and has a ton of content that will be super useful as we're working to build that fat wall of sound. Devastator will be responsible for the hybrid electronic side of our epic orchestra. Don't be too proud for the freebies and get them seriously. So in the alternate 500 US dollar build with Nucleus as our orchestral centerpiece, we got a solid foundation for a modern sounding orchestra that can pierce through a busy mix. Tommy Prophet Percussion adds the necessary power for the drums where Nucleus needs some help and Evolution Devastator will serve us with a perfect entry world into cinematic sound design. Did you leave the video a thumbs up already? 1000 US dollar budget. A thousand dollar budget allows us a few nice choices. While going fully dedicated section libraries is still out of our reach, we'll stick to an all-in-one orchestra as our centerpiece workhorse and expand it where it makes sense with a few more powerful additions than what we could do with the 500 US dollar sample library built. We're gonna stick with Reaper and by Contact Full. Contact Full again opens up the doors for freebies and smaller gems that are not available for the free contact. For example, all the performance sample stuff, Ethera Gold, cinematic vocals, freebies and more. Now, centerpiece, Spitfire Symphony Orchestra, the complete flagship all-in-one orchestra that leaves very little to be desired. Now we're gonna ramp this one up with Damage 2. In my opinion, Damage 2 is the most well-rounded sample library when it comes to cinematic percussion. Spitfire Symphony Orchestra will do great for traditional orchestral percussion. Damage 2 adds amazingly playable drum ensembles, soloists, world percussions, hybrid effects and transitions. It has a great UI with a virtual stage that's really intuitive for placing instruments left and right to the front and further to the back. For 250 US dollars on sale, it's a no-brainer to me. It's an absolute staple. Like with a $500 budget, we want to fill the gap in our all-in-one orchestra and add some choir with either Choir Essentials or Chorus Light. Again, pick the one where you like the sound more. Both are great. Choir Essentials is a bit pricier, but also has legatos and a children choir. Now, we have a bit of budget left. And if I were to reinforce one of Spitfire Symphony Orchestra's sections, I would pick the strings. I would buy Spitfire Audio's Appassionata. It's an expressive, lyrical strings legato library that won't break the bank completely. It has super, super smooth crossfades between the dynamic layers of the sustains and makes it a joy to play lovely music with. I pick Appassionata because it complements Spitfire Symphony Orchestra very well in tone. Both were recorded in the same hall, Air Lindhurst, which is why I'd recommend this one here over, for example, 
um, Vista by Performance Samples, which is also great. Check it out as well. At 150 US dollars on Black Friday sale, Appassionata adds more expressiveness for strings writing to our composer palette. Get all the freebies. So overall, Spitfire Symphony Orchestra will do a fantastic job as a centerpiece of our $1,000 general orchestra with its tons and tons of content and gorgeous hall sound. We were able to broaden up our percussion with Damage 2, added an essential choir to the mix, and with the remaining dollars, we decided to give our string section a little treat by adding Spitfire Appassionata, which excels at performing intense and silky melodies for us, recorded in the same orchestral hall as Spitfire Symphony Orchestra, a great addition. Now for the epic composers, I would go a slightly different route. I would get Reaper and Contactful for the same reasons as mentioned before, but then I would pick Nucleus as an all-in-one orchestra capable of a fat sound with a choir, soloists, and basic cinematic sound design. Next, I would buy Talos, also by Audio Imperia. It's a specialist for loud and epic brass. <laughs> has a 12 horn patch and a low brass patch. The 12 horn patch is great to shout proud horn melodies in Hans Zimmer style film tracks or trailer music. The low brass is super thick and impactful. At 100 US dollars on sale, it's a great addition to go full force. Just like with the general orchestral build, I would pick Damage 2 as our main percussion library. It's a general staple, stunning sample quality. It's so playable. I love it. On top of Damage 2, we're also getting Tommy Profit Percussion for 100 bucks. It's just a specialist for in-your-face drums, and it will do you very well for epic music. Now for choir, we're going to ramp it up one level. Performance samples Oceania. Either one or two, both are okay. Oceania is loud, shouting performance patches. <laughs> It's a one-trick pony for Skyrim-style chanting. You want to go like Fusroda all the time you play Oceania. It's much louder than Choir Essentials, but it's also much less versatile. But hey, in this build, we want to go epic. We're going to add Evolution Devastator to our bucket list. It's a great first entry into cinematic sound design and trailer effects. If you're not so interested in these hybrid effects, you could also skip Devastator and go for a cinematic solo vocal library like Ethereal Gold Atlantis 3. Depends on the music you want to make. Last but not least, take them freebies. So in our $1,000 epic build with Nucleus, we have a powerful centerpiece for a modern orchestral sound. We're ramping up the percussion all the way with both Damage 2 and Tommy Prophet percussion our choir goes ham with Oceania, our brass is randomly yelling at people with Talos, and we got some sound design to layer our orchestral instruments with and make them even bigger. Or we go for an amazing cinematic vocal sample library with legatos, thousands of phrases, and super evocative textures. Before you rush out and splurge on your 1000 US dollar sample libraries, take a deep breath. Relax for a moment and remember, Sample libraries won't make you a better composer. The time that you spend music with them does. And having the right learning resources on the way. Like my very own flagship course, Orchestral Music Production for Beginners, made specifically for beginners to guide them from zero to their first production-ready orchestral soundtrack. As of the time this video comes out, the course is on Black Friday sale at 40% off. Check it out in the description. Finally, it's here. The moment you've been waiting for. Finally, you can spend the 3,000 US dollars that you found under your mattress. Just kidding. This video is not a guide on how to spend 3,000 US dollars in one go on Sample Library. Please build your gear over time. Master them until you reach a limitation, until you understand where it limits you. Then consider upgrading your gear. If you buy everything at once, chances are that you'll not deeply understand any of these libraries and your music will suck. And you won't know why and blame the libraries. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would. So all disclaimers have been disclaimed. Here's what orchestral sample libraries I would buy on a 3000 US dollar budget if I started all over again. Here's the thing, you don't need to, but with this budget, I would make the jump to a different DAW. That could be Logic Pro, Cubase, or Studio One, for example. They all have free demos. You can try them all, pick the ones where you like the workflow the most. They all sound the same. You can make professional orchestral music in each of them. Personally, I like Studio One. 
I love the sound variations to quickly switch articulations from my orchestral sample libraries. Cubase has these, of course, too. They're called expression maps. They're super helpful. In my opinion, the UI of Studio One looks a bit nicer to me compared to Reaper. That's subjective. I just love working in Studio One, and with a 3,000 US dollar budget, I'd go with the perpetual license for Studio One Professional. Cubase is a bit expensive, and it wouldn't quite fit the budget, but you do you. Full version of Contact? Yup, put it in the cart. Now, we will skip the all-in-one orchestra this time in favor of directly going into section libraries. Don't get me wrong. In my opinion, all-in-one orchestras are better for beginners to practice. They have a consistent sound. They have a, the same workflow, the UI. They behave the same. There's less mixing required or mic from positions. But I'm assuming that I already got the skills and don't need to practice with an all-in-one orchestra and can go directly into the section libraries. The most bread and butter, the most consistent orchestral section libraries, in my opinion, is the Cinematic Studio series. So that's what I'm going to buy the entire thing. Cinematic Studio strings, solo strings, brass and woodwinds. Percussion is not out yet, but one day maybe it will, and then I'll also buy it. The Cinematic Studio series is a large studio sound. It's not a hall sound. That makes it a bit less ambient, but it's also not bone dry. It's somewhere in the middle. That makes it very versatile and great as an orchestral centerpiece. The workflow of the Cinematic Studio series is a bit peculiar, and it has a learning curve. For example, the variable sample delay based on the legato speed, the shorts that are mapped to the mod wheel. But the Cinematic Studio series has one of the best legatos in the industry and they are so well programmed that you can basically copy paste MIDI in between the libraries and everything will sound amazing and consistent from scratch. It's a great all-round package. Next, I would get the whole Metropolis Arc bundle. Metropolis Arc, huge, naturally fat sound of Teldex scoring stage in Berlin. Metropolis Arc is great for layering and adding volume and power. It's epic, but not hybrid processed epic, but more like organic epic, I suppose. Metropolis Arc has a really great tone, and I would use it to energize the Cinematic Studio series whenever I need to. The Metropolis Arc libraries are like different parts that together form one huge all-in-one orchestra. For example, Arc 1 can only go loud, Arc 2 can only go sort of quiet, Arc 3 beats the living quack out of the instruments, and so on. I reviewed the entire series up here. The Metropolis Arc bundle has reached a great price that justifies it being in the list here. I'm also gonna get Damage 2, in my opinion, the best all-round cinematic percussion library at a 250 US dollar sales price. Next, Chorus. Chorus is Audio Imperia's flagship choir library. It's got wonderful, wonderful slow syllables. Chorus can go quiet, epic, and everything in between. Chorus has no soprano, alto, tenor, bass distribution, but it has legatos and syllables and shouts for men and women. It has a fat Scott Smith mix, modern mix, and classic mix. It's a super good bread and butter choir library, and I really love it and use it a lot. I would buy a Theragold Atlantis 3 or Prometheus. Atlantis 3 is for female and Prometheus is for male cinematic vocals and both of them have tons of extra vocal content, some great textures, bonus instruments. Atlantis 3 is probably one of the best value for money sample libraries I know, hands down. For cinematic sound design and hybrid effects, I would go for Devastator Breakout Pro. It's newer than its older brother, Evolution Devastator, and has a huge amount of content, super high quality. It's in your face, great sound effects. It has an interesting engine with the pro version that where you can build your own effect combinations, and it's an overall great product. As an alternative, you could go for Gravity 2, which is more like a hybrid film scoring thing, atmospheric textures, interesting rhythmic patches, and it's another absolute staple in the sound design world. Freebies. 
you bet. We're a tiny bit over budget. If you have to, maybe leave out the cinematic vocals. But with the entire Cinematic Studio series, we can now create absolutely wonderful pieces of music. We could do it with the other ones, with Spitfire Symphony Orchestra or Nucleus as well. But now, if you learn and take these to their limits, non-composers will have no clue if your track was performed by a live orchestra or a sample library. Composers, more often than not, may also have a hard time. The huge, huge Metropolis Arc Bundle complements the CSS, the Cinematic Studio series, with a lovely organic tone, both loud and quiet. We got tons of extra utility with some really interesting patches in Metropolis Arc that you wouldn't get in many other sample libraries. We got amazing percussion with Damage 2, a fully versatile chorus with the most beautiful slow syllables like ever, and some cinematic ear candy with sound design by Breakout Pro and a vocal library that can do much more than just A ah and O. Don't forget to do your own research. Listen to the demos of each library you're interested in, watch the official walkthrough and maybe one or two reviews made by other people to get an idea if this library fits your taste and your need. I sincerely hope this was helpful. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like this content. Happy composing and I'll see you soon.